I, as we work through these, I'm going to be reading off of this list. So keep this list nearby so that you can see it as we go. We are working today on the front page. I'd like you to take a look at the back. Don't stress, we're not doing those yet. We're not ready for the back. If you are in a place where it's not easy for you to see the screen, I'm going to encourage you to turn your body so that you are able to view the front while we do example one together. All right, step one, define the variable if necessary. We don't need to define the variable in this worksheet because the variables are already all there. <clears throat> step two, write the equation or inequality. Well, we're gonna do that. We're gonna rewrite it underneath the number line so we have space to work it. Step three, use the distributive property to get rid of any parentheses. Do we have any parentheses? No, we don't have to do that with this one. Step four, combine like terms separately on each side. Where are our like terms that we have to combine here? Negative three and six. So we're gonna rewrite this as zero is less than three X minus nine. Step five, eliminate the constant term, the number that's by itself, from the size of the variable using addition or subtraction. Negative nine is our constant. It doesn't have a variable, but it's on the side of the inequality with the variable, so we are going to eliminate it by zeroing it out and adding it to the other side. I am running out of room here, so I'm gonna write the solution up over here. And I end up with nine is greater than three X. So step six, cancel the coefficient, the number that's in front or under the variable using multiplication or division. This is where we're trying to make our positive invisible one. So what do we need to get rid of here to cancel? Three. And we're gonna do it by dividing both sides by three. And I end up with three is greater than X. The problem is, we haven't talked about this yet, Everything we solved when we were doing our examples here in our notebook, all of these had the variable on the left side and the number on the right side. And when we did that, the inequality points the direction the line goes on the graph. Do you see that? And that was true here as well. X is on the left, the number was on the right, the inequality pointed in that direction. Where we have this saying three is greater than X, the X is on the right side of the inequality symbol. So we wanna rewrite this so that the X is on the left side. It makes the graphing part easier. So I'm gonna put the answer up at the top. I've got X to the left and three to the right. What's gonna to have to happen with the inequality symbol then? it's gonna to have to flip. Where it said three is greater than X, we're now gonna show that X is less than three. This is why I like highlighters for this. If I'm gonna use my pen or a pencil, it's hard to make the line dark enough to show, but a highlighter really does show it. I'm gonna circle the three. Am I leaving the circle open or closing it? Open. And my arrow is gonna to go to the yeah. left. So that's using um, our steps to prove this. Um, 
or to, to solve this. The final step is usually to go back and put the X into the original to test it. We don't really have room on this one, and I'm not so worried about that today. But I would like to see you showing the steps, trying to keep it neat, and you might need to do two columns of work like I did here. We're only working on the front page. 